We are the Rockwell Group's headquarters in Hedehusene, Denmark, to celebrate the opening of a newly renovated office building. The Danish minister Martin Lidegaard performed the official opening ceremony. The office building was built in 1979 and has an area of more than 3,000 square meters. The workplaces were outdated and the energy performance and indoor climate was far below the current standards. With this renovation, the energy consumption of the building has been reduced by almost 85%. I think this is one out of many examples that you can combine climate efforts with sound economy and aesthetics. And I, I have been here before in this house, to be frank, and it was not very beautiful if you ask me. But I think that this renovation has not only made good to the climate footprint, but also to the beauty of the building. It's an important project. As a demonstration project, we can use it to tell the public and uh, the politicians and, and other relevant stakeholders how important it is to have focus on energy renovation of, uh, in this case, a, a commercial building, but in, in, uh, on, on energy renovation in, in, in general. As a world leader in energy efficiency solutions in buildings, the Rockwell Group has a special obligation to go in front with a positive example. It's important for, for the Rockwell organization that we show we take our own medicine, that we prove to the public that deep renovation and focus on energy renovation of buildings are important and that it's doable within a reasonable uh, economic frame. As many know, Denmark has been a front runner when it comes to building regulation, energy efficiency and renewables. And I don't think we could have that position if it wasn't for some outstanding enterprises in Denmark who have taken the benefit of the front runner position of Denmark, Rockwell being one of them. We all know that our generations have a special responsibility towards climate change. We have to act and we have to act now. And building renovation, more efficient use of energy, is definitely one of the cheapest and fastest ways of actually reducing CO2 emissions. So the Danish government and me personally consider building efficiency as probably one of the most important paths towards a sustainable society.